Hey everybody, Justin from Utah Air Guns. I've got an exciting product to talk about. Today, we are gonna go over the FX True Ballistics Chronograph. We're gonna give you the first looks. We're gonna open the box for you, show you how it comes out of the box, and then we're gonna explain some features. So let's get started. Ah, that was the coolest thing ever. As it comes out of the box. Okay. Really nice soft shell form, you know, a formed case here. Let's open it up, see what we got. So, all right. So no scrimping on the packaging or the case. Already comes with its own case, so it's not an aftermarket item that you have to buy like others do. This comes with its own really nice padded case. So it comes out of the box like this. What we've got is the chronograph. We've got the uh, owner's manual. We've got some QR codes to download the app if you'd like. It does have an app that you can run with this from your phone that is gonna save all your data that you're doing. You can set profiles. We'll go over some of that in the video. Let's get started though. The unit itself comes like this. Comes in a, comes in a cool uh, shell. So this is your stand. This is your chronograph. They come together as a thumb screw on the bottom here. As you can see that, that big thumb screw, that's gonna screw into the bottom here, like so. One thing I like about that too is it's, it's a really thin profile. So you could fit this in like a backpack or something without taking up a lot of room, be comfortable. And it's, it's self-contained. So really cool the way they did that. So smart, smart way to pack that. So, so you've got the nice LED screen backlit so you can see everything, four easy, buttons so um this thing is very easy to use the interface is simple and it's really easy to set specifically for what you're trying to do you've got your power button here at the bottom you've also got this is a uh, charging port it's a USB-C plug it already comes with the cord in the box it's a usb charger battery lasts quite a long time it doesn't need to be plugged in but you can obviously run an external battery and and leave it like that if you'd like but so that's your exterior function oh you also have a peep sight so this peep sight is nice because you know with the challenge with radar chronographs is knowing exactly where that that radar uh cone is going now you can use that peep sight to aim it at your target so that you know you're shooting through the whole the whole radar stream so you're not going to get any miss you know, misinformation or inaccurate uh, data, because the way a radar works, it goes out at a cone like this. If you only shoot through part of that cone, it could read different. This one, you line it up easy. It's easy to line it up, shoot. Data is always correct. Some cool things. The range for velocity is one setting, 400 feet per second, all the way to 4,000 feet per second. Pretty easy to figure out which one you need, right? Let's go over some of the key features though. Some of the things that set this, this chronograph apart from anything else on the market. The way this works, you've got input for this thing where you can add your, your grain weight or whatever increment you wanna use, whether it grains or grams or whatever. You can plug all this in. So you can plug in your specific weight. So once you add your input, what, what bullet weight you're shooting, all that, this is going to spit out all of that data to you in the end, how many foot pounds or joules or however you want to set it up. It's got all those settings, but long story short, it's going to tell you your energy and at what distance you can set those distances. Say you want to read it at 25 yards, 50 yards, 75, 100 yards. It's going to tell you all the data at that point. It's going to calculate what your subsonic distance is. So where that projectile becomes subsonic, it's going to tell you that. Also interesting, you add your ballistic profile. So if you want it to shoot on a G1 or a G7, it has a setting for that. And why does it ask for that? Because it's going to also give you a BC for that projectile. It's going to measure BC. Not only does it measure it, but it measures both high to low BC, but it also gives you an average BC, which is going to be the number you want to plug into your ballistics calculators or your dope chart that you're trying to figure out, it's going to give you the average number. That's gonna save you a lot of time having to true up on whatever app you use or device, say if it's on a Kestrel or, or a phone, you know, it's whatever ballistic program you choose to use. Oftentimes you need to true up that speed. And when I say true up, I mean, 
when you shoot at distance and it says, let's just go for an example. It says at 200 yards, you hold 2.7 mils. I know that's out of whack for center fires, but for air guns, that sounds about right. If you shoot when you've dialed at 2.7 mils and it hits low, we'll say, you can you have to input it hit right here so that it it trues up what what it uh, calculates for your BC. Um, this will save a lot of that because you enter those average BCs and it tends to be very very accurate. So that is an amazing feature to just have in your radar chronograph that's portable. I mean, what five years ago you would have had to have five hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment, and Doppler radar, and everything else to try and figure this stuff out. Now it fits in a backpack, takes up no room. It's under $1,000 and it's awesome. Why don't we jump down to the range? Let's see what it's like when you're actually using it so you can see how we set the functions, all the data that you can put in and all the data that it will spit out for you and make your shooting a lot better. Let's do it. All right, so we're down here in the range. Let's go ahead, power up the unit. Okay. Before we arm the radar, let's go into configurations. So your velocity ranges, you just select it, 400 to 4,000 feet per second. Pretty broad, that's easy. So we'll select that. We'll go down to primary units. That's gonna give you your option to do it in feet per second, meters per second, joules, foot pounds. This is what's going to be your first measurement it takes. Uh, let's keep that on feet per second. Enter, we'll go down to the second unit. I'm gonna do it for foot pounds because I wanna see velocity and foot pounds in my calculations. So select that. We can go down into weight units. That's gonna give you grains or grams, however you wanna weigh it. That's, that's pretty straightforward. We'll go down. Distance units, it's meters or yards. We keep going down. We've got, now you can set your distances of what you want that radar to capture the data at, the, at those distances. This is really cool because when you're outside at 100 yards, we can set this to all different distances. Say right at the muzzle, you know, say five yards. We can do 25 yards, 50 yards, 100 yards, however you want to figure. There's four different settings. A lot of people like to set it up at 100 yards. They'll do 25, 50, 75, 100 to get their measurements. In here, we're only shooting 34 yards. So we're going to set it up for under that. So I've already preset the distances. So. Distance one was at five yards. Then I just work my way out. 15 yards, 20 yards, 30, 34 yards. Okay, so you have the option to do all that. So I'm gonna select that. Um, I won't make you go through every distance because that's pretty redundant. Projectile weight, you enter that in. So if right now we're shooting a 44.5 grain. So I'm gonna select that. You can also scroll up and down to change your weights. I just already had it set up because I know that's what we're shooting. So let's go over to that 45. So scroll down your barrel offset. That's to set up how far offset you are from the radar. There's there's a few different default settings. Um, I'm at four to 12 inches. We'll select that channels. We're going to skip that for now because you just don't really need to know about channels. Shutdown time, you can set it to automatically shut down after X amount of time, so that saves battery life. So let's scroll down now. We go to the to the drag models. That's where we get into the ballistic stuff. We're gonna select the drag model. We're gonna select G1 because we're shooting a, a G1 profile type projectile today. But there's also G7 and there's also the RA4 projectile, so we'll select that. We're gonna go down. This is where you turn your Bluetooth on or off so you can connect to the app which is cool. Uh, so we're on just like that. We'll go down. So interference, this, this gives you the ability to turn on or off if you want that displayed, if there's interference in the, in the radar. Um, I have it on just so you can see if there is some kind of interference, you know, whether it be something, you know, that that's, could possibly throw the radar off. It doesn't happen often, but We'll leave it on for the video. Trigger sensitivity, obviously that is allows you to set, you know, a sensitivity. If you're shooting a center fire with a break that's crazy loud, you could obviously turn the sensitivity down. Uh, you can also adjust the sensitivity. So if you're on a firing line and there's several people shooting, you can set the sensitivity so it only picks up your shots. 
um, that's really, you know, that's really all you would need to set the settings for. Other than that, it works really, really well. You know, on the sensitive settings, you don't have to have an extra microphone or trigger to, to activate the radar, which is awesome. Let's go down to, then you get to the exit without saving or we can save it. Let's hit save because we, we saved everything we put in. Now it's ready to use. All we'd have to do at that point is click the button and everything's ready to use. So let's get started. Let's use it a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, we'll load up, get set up to shoot, and let's see how it functions. Let's shoot 10, see how it does. Okay, that's a 10 shot string. We'll go ahead and unload. So let's view, we can go to the app, view the shots. I can go all the way from first shot to 10th shot. Tells me my feet per second down the sides here. Also has a BC calculation going, which is cool. So we can either share that to a sheet, we can save it to our phones, however you'd like to do it. So if we wanna save it, it's saved now. Now we can go to a new shot string if we'd like start a new one uh, there's all kinds of settings you can set different profiles like which gun you're sh shooting what projectiles you're shooting so you can go through that select a profile and enter that way you can have data for all your guns on there so we'll select that profile uh, there is just wide open you know we can just put say a new rifle you can even post an image of your rifle which is cool So when you come over, it's given us our feet per second. Let's go next. Now it's gonna tell us feet per second and foot pounds of energy. Also list it at that yardage, which is really cool. Next, we'll go into stats. So now we've got a stat. I fired eight shots. The low was 970. The standard deviation, 1.73, which is awesome. And we've got a BC calculation, 0 0.104. Um, then over here, we've got our average, our high, our spread, and our average BC. So now our average BC is 0 0.100. 0. So that is what I would plug into my ballistic calculator for this particular ammunition I'm shooting and at that speed and everything. That is awesome. That's what sets this apart from every other chronograph on the market is it will calculate those BCs. It will do it accurately. It's, it's more than just a chronograph telling you how fast your gun's shooting. It, it, it calculates all the, all the ballistic configurations, so it takes so much work out of it. It's awesome. You can know that a live BC as well. BCs can change an environment. Now you can just take your portable chronograph, shoot it in that environment, know what your BC is that day, or for that environment, plug it into your calculator. That should give you very accurate data. That is a huge, huge feature to have in in a radar chronograph and they are so easy to use. They just work. You put shots down range and they work. We've sold hundreds of these, maybe thousands. Every single person that has owned one loves it. That's gotta tell you something. It's not just me standing here telling you how awesome it is. Your peers, all shooters that are, that are shooting these and it's air gunners, it's center fire guys, it's rim fire guys, doesn't matter. They've all absolutely raved about this chronograph. It is amazing. And it's a huge tool for you guys who are calculating ballistics as well as just trying to get all that fine data. This will do it all for you. That's what makes it the best chronograph on the market.